Hey, good morning. We're out here in Apollo Beach. As you can see, we're uh, right on the bay here. In fact, right across the uh, bay there, you can see Bear Can Island. Um, we're doing a, some new construction cleaning and sealing. One thing I wanted to go live about was uh, because we're doing a specialty sealing, um, this is marble. We, we see marble, travertine, even some slate at times. and. It's a specialty type ceiling. You don't want just anyone on your property ceiling uh, these types of stones because it takes a completely different approach. It's a completely different method. Um, when it comes to this type of stone, we offer a, a few different options. Uh, one thing that we do uh, differently is on this one, we actually came and we cleaned and we sanded uh, the property a couple of days ago. And we're back now after it's had a chance to completely dry. And we've got uh, John over here. He's getting ready to start sealing the coping. Um, as you can see, he's actually rolling the coping um, instead of spraying so that we can limit any overspray getting into the pool. So we don't want sealer getting into the pool, clogging up the pump, uh, doing some damage, especially on a property like this that was just built um, we want to avoid those and so one way we do that is uh, we actually roll the coping on there and it's tedious it takes more time than just spraying uh, we can get out here a lot faster if we just sprayed it and that's what some guys do but we choose to take that extra precaution take that extra time and roll it on there so again we're not spraying it all into the pool and then even afterwards even though we're rolling it we're going to put some stuff into the pool um, some pool aid so it can uh, cure that water of any sealer that might have accidentally got into there even though we rolled it in there. Uh, again, travertine, marble, slate, those types of sealer or those types of stones, uh, we're definitely using a different type of sealer on those so that uh, when you get these kind of stones wet, they're already naturally slippery. Um, so when you add a sealer on top of that, it causes it to be even more slick. Um, the type of sealer that this homeowner chose, it's actually going to bond within the substrate. So the homeowner is not even going to know, or anyone else for that matter, is would even know that this stone's been sealed unless it rained or they purposely got the stone wet and then you would see the, 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 uh, the water lay on top and, and kind of bubble up and, uh, not bubble up, but uh, form on top. It doesn't allow the, the water to penetrate into the stone. Um, the unique thing about that again is it does not mess with the integrity of the stone at all so we're not adding any slipperiness we're not adding making it more slick with this type of sealer um, it, it does take a little bit extra precaution it takes a few days longer again most of the time when we're dealing with just pavers we can come out there we can clean those pavers sand them and seal them that same day but with this type of sealer we're using um, yes, we can't do it as fast. It's not a one-day process. However, um, they have the peace of mind to know that uh, the sealer we're laying is not a uh, film forming sealer, so it's not laying on top and making this already slick stone when it's wet even more slick. It's going to bond within the stone, so you can walk out here barefooted. The integrity of the stone is not manipulated whatsoever. Um, you're not even going to know that it's uh, a sealer's on there unless we pour some water and you can see that beading effect on there. It'll be very profound, that beading effect, once the sealer is put on there. That slowly kind of goes away over time, but it doesn't mean that the sealer is, is not as effective. It's just going to be really profound in the beginning, um, but the sealer will still be doing its job. For probably on average, we like to tell homeowners expect about two, maybe three years of life, but on average about two, two and a half years before it's time to seal again. Sealing this will help from spills. It'll help keep the color in place, um, all those good things. So if you would like um, to know more about it, feel free to call or text me at 813-335-2869. Thank you.